Welcome to wikitiki.com and uh, here is on variables uh, which I am going to teach you in two minutes of time it's under PHP area it's a mix up of uh, hands on practicals and 3D animations my name is Venkat I am a Microsoft most valuable professional this is my Microsoft profile you can check it microsoft.com PHP variable so here is the variable and you will be giving the value and the dollar symbol followed by the name of the variable should be given to assign the value. So it can be used to store the text or numbers. The variables can be reused throughout the code. The conditions for defining variables. A variable name starts with a letter or the underscore character where the variable name cannot start with number. A variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. This is the condition for defining the variable name. It's one of the important interview question. Let's talk about the features of variable. We no need to define the data type of the variable because it will automatically define the data type based on the value which we are specifying. That's the advantage. You are able to see dollar sample one with a string. It will become a character or varchar, a string data type. With hundred, it became integer. With 10.5 it became float and here is a simple code doc type you will be having the opening and the closing tag with the body here and under that so this is how you will be specifying the PHP file with the uh, question mark PHP ending with question mark and here is the variable type you got sam 1 2 3 I am trying to print it break the next line print the integer break and print the float value let's move on to the practical example so here is the code so you need to put your php file into exam sd docs so it's the server local server and afterwards your apache server should run now let's move on you are able to see it this is the simple code I've explained before and here is the output so sam1 echo of printing it and the integer printing and here is another one printing the float value this is how your PHP integer value will be the variable value will be let's move on this is a simple piece of code I'm trying to show you in a colorful format and here is the one the one indicates is the integer value sorry it's a string value and the end with the semicolon and sam2 it's an integer value and here is the float value I'm trying to print it with a echo statement and here is the output the string integer and float that's it thanks for watching our wikitiki.com videos and if you're looking for more videos you can send a whatsapp message to this number and you can send an email to us and you can subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions queries or any doubts you can contact us so that uh, our expert team will answer it and here is the website and facebook url thank you from wikitiki